Okay, my friends, thanks for coming by again, cooking with Mr. Dan. Uh, this evening we're going to be making uh, our start to get back to healthy dish. <laughs> it, it's pretty good. It's, it's uh, only a couple of ingredients might put us a little over the edge, but it's uh, chicken. I'm calling it chicken with brown rice. That's what I'm calling it. So uh, without further ado, let's get to it. I've got some of it started already, so let's go. I cannot wait. Been cooking all day. Okay, over here I've got my brown rice cooking. I'll put my timer on. Got it on for about 40 minutes. I had it in here for about five or six minutes. I already started it, like I said. This here's the beast that's doing all the work tonight. So we're gonna start off with, I've got a half of a sweet onion and half of a red onion. Here I've already cooked my chicken, I got that done. <clears throat> so then over here, we've got some, uh, you know me, a diced jalapeno, minced garlic. There's a half a head, or maybe a little more than a quarter of a head of cabbage. I got some rosemary to toss in there, some thyme, Worcestershire sauce. Today we're going to use cream of chicken because I didn't, I used the cream of mushroom the other day when I made this almost identical dish. And we got some cannelli beans and we've got snow peas that I chopped up. Okay, now you see the onions are a little bit uh, translucent sides, side. So what I'm going to do, got to have the garlic. I'm going to put about probably a good teaspoon and then on top of that we rinse that so I don't want to cross contamination in my jar of peppers. Not that it would be bad, I don't think, but you know. You guys are watching it. What are you doing? <laughs> Not like I lift a spoon or nothing. <laughs> and we're gonna get us a nice round teaspoon of Peppers, maybe two. That just gives it a little flavor. Stop him getting nervous. But Penny can always tell when I put uh, a little uh, diced jalapenos in there. She can always tell. Because she's got them taste buds from hell. <laughs> All right. Now this is going to be done in stages. Now I also found some, I had, well I, I asked and Penny delivered it so just now a couple minutes ago. Well this here has been cooking. But I uh, thought I seen a pack of these in the freezer. So I'm going to throw a little of these in there too. Uh, just because we can. You can throw whatever you want in this here dish. I'm just trying to you know, again, stuff I got laying around ain't doing nothing with. Drain some of the juice off these here cannelli beans at the moment, since we ain't got nothing to do. Okay, so. Alright, see, so nice, everything's nice and soft. It's, the aroma's like kicking booty. Alright. See if I can get any of these out of here. Seems like a big frozen chunk from hell. There you go. That's a good bust up. That's enough. Yep, just a little bit. And we still have a little bit. Oh, I got too many open containers. What happens is I cook something, then I cook something different, and I forget about my like these peas and carrots. This is gonna go good with this. Don't you worry, children. I gotta remember those are in there because I'm gonna make my chicken tetrazzini, and I got um, P 
peas and carrots to go in there, see? <laughs> you think I don't know what's going on? I think that was my original intent anyway when I got those. But we didn't make any, so. All right. I'm gonna go give my rice a quick stir. Brown rice, it's a slow cook rice, but uh, I've been trying to use this. I might even start doing the white rice like that. I like the, it's got a different texture, different flavor, but you know, brown rice is healthy for you, so that's my new kick helping me and Penny. All right, in goes my peas, okay, and I hope those retain their little snap. I'm throwing them in a little early, but. Just trying to make sure everything gets warm through. Let me turn this up a little bit. Because after this, I'm going to go get my cabbage going. Yep. Yup, yup, yup. Yep. Okay. Let's see if I'm going to throw the cabbage in there. And that's going to glue the lid on here and hope this will sweat down some. I don't want it mushy. Don't give me one. We don't I have the one last one I made like this the other day. I used mushrooms. I put mushrooms in something like this. And by golly, by gum, my cabbage was not all mushed out. I thought it tasted rather good. But you know, this is the kind of stuff you gotta start, you know, we've been I'm making a lot, I made pizza, I made some English muffins, I made focaccia bread, and we had a bunch of uh, snack foods from Christmas, so I'm, getting, I'm trying to get back into somewhat of a regular thing here. But, and yes, the only thing like you'll see here in a little bit when I put the cream of chicken soup and I'm gonna add some milk to it. That's where I said it goes over the edge a little, because the rest of this is, from the word healthy, it's, it begins with the capital H, okay? <laughs> so we're gonna let that steam, and while that's steaming, we'll give you guys a break. Okay, so while you guys were taking a nap, I've been over here making my uh, cabbage meal over here. I mixed together the uh, cream of chicken and the milk. It's sitting over here in a measuring cup. But here we just, and I see how a lot of that went down. But like I said, I don't want this to, I don't want all this to get too soft, so. Let me see one of these here, how they taste. Mm -hmm. I love smoked peas. <laughs> okay. And it's really hardly nothing for this dish to go together. Oh. No. Put a little salt and pepper in there. Right now, it needs a pick-me-up. And then we're going to be adding the, the cream. I was going to put a dash of hot plates in there, but since I've already got uh, my jalapeno peppers in there, I figured I'd give it a break today, huh? Okay, so I'm mixing this up now. Now look, everything in there looks really, really inviting, huh? You <laughs> see, you'll say, man, you're full of shit. Oh, well, whatever. It's there. It looks very good. And there's no, there's nothing in here. It's just veggies. <laughs> it's all veggies and garlic and salt and pepper now. Now we play with the dangerous stuff, huh? Now this is one can of cream of, cream of cream of chicken, and 
a matching cup of the milk, see? Now, the one time I made this, I made it with cream of mushroom and it was gangbusters. You can use mushroom, cream of mushroom, cream of chicken. You don't even have to cream nothing. You can leave it, leave it out if you want. It'll still taste good. But I just like it. And it gives it a little more body. My body lies over the ocean. Oh, no, that's the wrong song. Sorry, guys. Okay. So now... Give this a little mix. Yep, coming together like a hand in a glove. Oh, that was OJ's thing. The glove didn't fit, so you can't commit. <laughs> you gotta equip something like that. Yep. It's funny the little dumb things you remember, huh? But this is a nice little dish. I mean, really, it's easy. Now you can take the chicken out of the freezer, right? If you didn't thaw it out, boil it up, parboil it, and then fry it off a little bit, saute it, I should say, uh, with a little bit of olive oil, just a tad bit. That's all I used, a tad bit of olive oil, and uh, chicken come out nice and tender. I did put a little of my homemade blackening seasoning on there. That's why it looks a little speckly. But outside of that. It's delicious. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of my other favorite thing. Can anybody guess what that might be? Oh, no, Mr. Dan. No, not the beans. We're going to throw in some cannonelli beans. Just about a half a can. Give it a little more texture, that's all. And they're good for you. They got protein. <laughs> Everybody needs a little protein now, man. So... That being said, my friends, and don't forget I drained the, I drained those beans too, by the way. Now we're mixing this in. Now come on, tell me that doesn't look good. Really? <laughs> you guys crack me up. This here is a nice, easy dish, filling, comfort food. Uh, when you're out in the wintertime, you come home and you get a food like this, you would be think you died and went to heaven. Okay. Now, tender as tender can be, flavorful. That chicken is delicious. Just so you guys know, that was just uh, two of those. How they, you know, now I heard, basically it was one breast. I mean, you know, two halves. That's what it was. That's all it is. And I just chopped it up real small pieces so we get enough chicken in there. Oh yeah, Penny and me, Penny and me will be eating on this for a day or two, but it's it's good. And I made uh, English muffins today. <laughs> that, was, that was a long video. But I did it from start to finish, so I made the dough, kneaded it out, let it rest, proofed itself for an hour, got it back out, rolled it out, cut my little muffins up, laid them out, and I cooked them. <laughs> They're good. We tasted one. Right, Penny? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. My little baby sitting in there playing her game. She deserves a break today. Mm. Okay. Mm. Let me put the lid on here before I get myself in trouble and start eating it. Because it does taste that good. <coughs> so anyway, guys. Uh, once this is done, in fact, I'll lower this a little bit. I don't want to cook it too fast. Uh, once that rice is done, yeah, I said once the rice is done, then the meal is finished. I mean, it's ready to go right now. 
but yes sir, yes ma'am, all good to go. I'm going to add some right before, actually I can do it now, I'm going to add some of my Worcestershire sauce in there, just a couple dashes. See how it's starting to bubble now, see? I don't add too much of nothing on here, huh? Now we take some, some time. This is powder, I mean not powder, it's dried. So we take some of this. You guys see me do this a gazillion times. Sprinkle it in your hand, clench it up. Let me open this up and get more of the time, yeah. Takes forever, huh? Give these a little squeeze because it releases the oils that's in the, the dried leaves. I mean, they're dried, but they still got some. Boy, the aroma that comes out of there is ungodly. Whoa! When I say ungodly, it was kind of powerful. So, put this cap back on. And then we're going to get us a hit of rosemary. You know, for all the spices that's in the world, you figure. Yeah, who the heck figured this stuff would go good with this? Without, you know, I'm just saying, there's a ton of spices. I always told Penny years ago, you may not make a whole lot at one time, but spice, all the spice companies, look at all of them, they all do very well. <laughs> Invest in those, you'll be doing something. But don't listen to me, I'm not an investment counselor. So, that being said, I'm going to mix this up a little bit. I'm going to call this done. Okay. I think this is what you call a done deal. Or a done meal. Take your pick. <laughs> I know. I'm nuts. But you guys love me anyway. Some of you do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. That is gangbusters. I'm gonna let that simmer off a little bit. Then hopefully it'll be in time for my rice. And then, it's going to be time for the taste test. The proverbial taste test. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let me give you guys a break. Okay, my friends, the rice is done. So now I'm going to get me a little bit. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Okay, I spooned a little bit of rice in there. Now I'm going to top it with some of the stuff that's in the pot. Okay, guys, there you have it. Meet you at the taste test table. Okay, guys, hope you can see me. <laughs> Whoa, oh, I forgot my water. Oh, well. Anyhow, this is, uh, this is it. I call it brown rice with chicken. Pretty healthy. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can hear that crunch, but that crunch is the cabbage. It's still nice. Um, it's got a little tender to it, but that's the way I like it. I don't like it wilty, you know, real mushy. My dad would have called that, oh, it's so mealy. <laughs> okay, there's some chicken rice and something else. Mmm. Mmm. There's one of them carrots. Mm -hmm. Well, mm. well, I have to say this is another fine mess I got myself into. This is delicious. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, the top good. Clear, boop, boop, boop. So without further ado, let's get to the good stuff. <clears throat> when you're out and about, cover up, protect yourself as well as others. 
Wash your hands, wash your hands. When you're out and about, take that spray stuff with that sanitizer, liquid, whatever gel, rub it in, wash it out. Now when you get home, wash your hands again. Don't talk with your mouth full unless it's another nice dish like that. Give us a like, uh, share with your friends, family, or others, or whatever. Uh, hit the uh, subscription if you haven't done so yet. Hit the subscribe button, and then when that you do that, then the uh, notification bell will pop down. And then you just tap that, and it, it'll notify you each time I have another video. So, anyway, this has been a long day for me. So, one more bite. Fly home to my friend. And when you are, you come back. And I'll make you one of these here dishes. That's one of the better ones I think I've done. <laughs> okay, Mr. Dan, we're up.